concerned are you about the uh, the bad uh, tension between the Obama and Netanyahu administration? I don't think, no. I think, look, if we examine the bilateral relationship, on three or four occasions, the, this administration has shown Israel that it does not feel itself bound to keep to its promises. And if you want, I'll give you specific examples. But the, the defense level and other levels, the relationship has been quite good. And I think the Israeli government, which by the way, remember is a coalition between the historic main conservative party and party of the left. It's not a quote right wing government, it's a coalition government. Of course now it's less true than it was before uh, because labor split. But uh, I think they've handled it very well to try to minimize uh, the conflict and friction. That's not the main problem. And we also see that the Palestinians and the Arabs outplay their hand repeatedly. I mean, they could have gotten the US, for example, in February to vote for an anti-Israel uh, resolution in the UN. The US would have supported it if they toned it down. And they refused to tone it down. Which, by the way, is an important example of how this politics works. So they, they will demand too much, they will overplay their hand, uh, and they'll end up not getting anything. But it's, so again, my concern is not this, uh, and also remember there are counterfactors on the Israel issue that there aren't on any other issue. American public opinion is strongly pro-Israel. American Congress is strongly pro-Israel. And therefore, the, the threat to me is not on U.S.-Israel relations. The threat is on the crumbling of the American position in the Middle East which endangers Israel, but it also endangers other people. A lot of people are my friends. And our interests are parallel in a way that's never been true before. That is, Israeli interest, Jordanian interest, Saudi interest, Gulf Arab interest, opposition in Iran, opposition in Turkey. Uh, this is unprecedented. We are all in, that doesn't mean everybody's going to become close friends and hug each other, but we are all in the same boat. We face the same threat. They know it. They say so privately. Sometimes they say so publicly. So I don't think the strategic situation is, would be so bad or is so bad as long as there The, the, one, the, the, the one last question I'd, I'd, I'd like to ask you to, uh, do you want to finish? Well, let me see.